what's up guy once again you are welcome to our channel today all right guys there was a heavy protest yesterday at the premises of the appeal court where uh p2b and atika obaka of pdp are uh, challenging the outcome of the fraudulent election that was held in uh, february 25 2023 now according to the court uh, a drama played out just uh, recently that made the court to to ban you know uh, youth coming to the court premises and also also to ban the use of telephone within the court you know if you remember what happened to lamidia papa how he was disgraced by obedience although nobody beat him Nobody beat him, but Lamide Papa claimed on national television that he was beaten. Nobody beat him because the police were there. What they only did was they called him only. If they had beaten him, I don't think he would have survived. So because of that, um, the appeal court president, you know, um, had, to, had to issue an order for people not to be allowed into the court premises as, except people of um, importance, you know. So if you are... An important personality will be allowed into the court, but generally, youth were barred from entering the court, and that is why this protest is holding. But you know what happened that yesterday? There was a drama. Our security forces could not contain uh, the youth that staged this protest. They entered into the court premises and held the protest. You know, before this time, the president of the appeal court has said that he was going to she was going to dispense justice. But from what is happening now, a lot of people are becoming very G3. They are becoming very apprehensive that it could be this judgment might not be it might not be delivered. That it could be an audio judgment. You know, that's what a lot of people are beginning to feel. For instance, why are you okay? Both PDP and APC are requesting that the the um, the the proceedings at the appeal court should be broadcasted live to Nigerians. Nigerians should be allowed to see what is happening for information purpose at least in our nation today in our country we have what we call freedom of information bill freedom of information act that has been passed into law so nigerians are entitled to know what is going on in the nation both at the judiciary but you see this was uh um although the the, the, the whole thing is still under hearing you know they they are to rule on that on monday i think on monday the appeal court will rule on that but from all indication and from what everybody has seen it appears they will rule against it because both apc you know INEC, they've kicked against it imagine INEC. INEC is supposed to be neutral this man mamur yakubi is a very useless man he doesn't even know his work situation like the INEC is supposed to be neutral it's not INEC's concern but if, we, if you look at the way INEC is defending Tenobu in this case, they are defending Tenobu. And what they should have only do, what is expected of them only, is to prove that Tenobu win. That is all. But you will see INEC opposing this. Okay, like, up to, you know that up to this moment now, they have not given Peter Obi, you know, the required document that Labour Party legal team need to prosecute this case. INEC have not given that to to Labour Party. In fact, at the point itself, it appeared they were requesting for money. 1.5 million naira. Although people be can afford that money, but you see, everyone is careful because it could be at the end, after you pay that money, they'll say you are trying to bribe my neck. That was why they refused to pay. The information is free. It's supposed to be released free to, you know, to a, a, a political party. So that is what is happening right now. So these guys staged a protest. The police, all of them, they all fled. They couldn't stop them. They couldn't do anything. And they staged a protest. And I think after this protest, they will not stop coming to court because, I mean, court is a, is a public place. Anybody can walk into court. What Lamy the Papa did was that he disgraced himself. He was one that, that caused that disgrace and embarrassment that came to him. He actually deserves it. He was not beaten. He was only booed at, and that was all. That was all. You are not the chairman. The judgment of the federal high court sitting in Abuja said that a deputy should take over in the event that Abure has been set aside. Abure was asked to step aside. You know, he was asked to step down and let he should stop parading himself as 
the Labour Party chairman, although Abure got another court injunction from a do state reinstating him. But you see, that is not being followed. You see, that's why today our judiciary is a thing of mockery. It's a thing of mockery because you will see a particular court, okay, like the one in Abuja now. Labour parties challenge that the court did not have you know a jurisdiction to entertain that case but the judge he insisted he has a jurisdiction because they know they will never get favor they will never get true judgment from there you know so right now the appeal court came out according to julius abura he said he's been reinstated which we believe he's been reinstated because he brought out the court judgment that the court judgment have set aside the ruling of the the ruling of the uh, the the high court that actually um ask him to step down that ruling has been set aside so guys that is what is happening i will bring you latest of the place make sure you subscribe to this channel if you've not done that and then also to hit that like button if you like this content and also drop your comment let me know what uh you think thank you very much and god bless you